Guys, today we're gonna be looking at some celebrity houses and not as much judging them ourselves. We will do a little bit of that. I'm down to do that. I'm, do I'm down to judge some houses. F it. But mostly we're gonna be judging what other people think of celebrity houses. I know, a little bit meta. Bear with me, okay? Stay with me here. Uh, there's this Instagram account, Zillow Gone Wild Celebrity Homes. And they just post celeb homes and who's selling to who and who's buying and blah, 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 right? It's just like rich people buying houses, but like people can't stand celebrity houses. That's what I realized. I think I read like one positive comment on on any of these. I mean, just 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 look. Here's one. The weekend just bought this Bel Air, California home for seventy million dollars. Thirty three thousand square feet, nine bedrooms, one point six acres of land. It includes an indoor sports court, an indoor pool, a movie theater, a gym, and a music studio. Right? Look at these pictures, right? I mean, look at, look at this fucking picture, okay? These fucking, like, just these pool chairs called me poor just now. Just these little fuckers right here. And the fact that there's only two beside this giant pool, minimal as hell, sick as fuck. Look at this picture during the day, holy hell. Look at this indoor pool. Sorry, I'm getting a little turned up right now. Look at this room, what, you, what room even is this? What room is this? Just the tree couch room? Hey, get up, we're hanging in the tree couch room. A table that looks like it should be one, but it's separated for some reason. I mean, it's a 33,000 square foot house, right? Uh, maybe it's not your style, right? Maybe you don't like the aesthetics, whatever. It's a gigantic mega mansion. Look at this first comment. Why do so many of these places make it look like being super rich is boring as hell? Boring? Boring. Boring. There's 30,000 square feet of fun in this house. Do you not hear me before? There's an indoor pool. There's a music studio in it. It sounds like a lot of fun to me. It sounds like hours and hours worth of fun every single day. There's an indoor sports court, for God's sake. Yes, this house is extremely egregious. Nobody needs 33,000 square feet to live in at all. But I'm not gonna sit here and say that would be boring. It would be awesome. Blinded by the price. Good one. I mean, it's the fucking weekend. He's probably worth like half a billion dollars by now. Every single person and their mom and their mom's mom's grandmom has been playing his fucking song since he played the Super Bowl. All right? He's fine. 70 million is nothing to this guy. Wish people would donate that amount of money instead of spending it on pointless shit. Yeah, I mean, you know, he could have bought a few more pool chairs. You know, what, is, what if he has more than four people that want to sit down by the pool? I mean... I agree. <laughs> like every single comment, look at this, too much. Why does anyone need that much space? Insane, no one needs this. Yeah, I know, no one needs it, but there's not one positive comment on here that looks like, this house looks pretty cool. It does look fucking cool. Guaranteed, if you walked into the front door of this house, you wouldn't be like, dude, Abel, man, seriously? Nobody needs this much. You'd be like, wait, there's an indoor sports court? Show me where that is. Let's look at another one here, Kanye. Kanye just bought this Malibu, California home for $57 million. That's a lot. It was previously owned by Richard Sachs, who had dated Ashley Olsen. It's 3,600 square feet, four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, 5,600 square foot lot. Kinda has like a mental hospital look a little bit, you know? I do like how like clean and minimal it is though. That's fucking beautiful right there to me. That's beautiful. But that's the point. People have different tastes. Kanye obviously likes this. His last house with Kim was like entirely white. Remember that? Like that one also looked more like a mental hospital. Pretty weak house for $57 million. Beach is overrated. Beach is overrated? What? I disagree. No, I mean, I, obviously $57 million for a, a house that anywhere else in this country would be like, I don't know, single digit millions is absurd. $57 million is fucking absurd. It's absurd, but it's Malibu. It's fucking Malibu. It's like the most sought after place in North America. Imagine paying 57 million and being two feet from your neighbor. What if your neighbor is a fucking G? What if he's cool as hell? What if he has a sick barbecue every weekend? And he smokes meats or something? Must be a joke, $57 million? Why? Because of supply and demand, my friend. That's why. Look at the prices of the houses in Malibu. Just look at them. It's on the fucking beach in Malibu. The ocean gonna be owning that home in about 10 years. Yeah, can't really argue with that one. I don't know if Oceanside real estate is the best investment, but again, it's Kanye West. He's a billionaire. He's a literal billionaire. $57 million is nothing to him. I'm sorry, but what makes a four bed, 5,600 square foot lot house worth 57.3 million? A dumbass who is willing to pay that price. Or a literal billionaire. 
Could be that too. Not saying it's right. Just saying he's got a billion dollars. And so he can afford it. A giant tsunami wave could come and swallow this one house and he could just buy the one next to it. And again, $57 million or not, it'd be pretty fucking cool to live on the beach. So Kanye, if you're watching this, <laughs> good on you. Since it's making its rounds, here's Pharrell's former Beverly Hills home, which sold for $14 million back in September 2020. It has 17,000 square feet, 10 bedrooms and 11 baths. Someone said it's just a community college somehow. <laughs> Kind of looks like he decided to move into a high-end shopping mall. Owned! It's a converted office complex? Get wrecked, Pharrell! Is that the koi pond Michael Scott fell in? Yeah, fucking roasted, bitch. What about your stupid hat, too? Remember that? Probably 57 hooks that you can hang it in this house. <laughs> Getting a lot of airport terminal vibes. <laughs> Look, these are the pictures. Yeah, I mean, it's... yeah. It's kind of mall vibe a little bit. It's just a little bit older, a little bit dated. I mean, it's still fucking beautiful though. Look at this. Listen, again, I'm not like, dude, you're giving these rich people too much heat. I'm just saying that these structures are beautiful. I can appreciate homes. I like homes. And just because it's owned by like a notable person, people are like, we need to roast this. That does look like a university though. <laughs> you know, chuck up more Park Community College on this and I'd be like, yeah. Totally. Where do I apply? Bad girl Riri just listed this Beverly Hills home for rent for 80K a month, which she bought back in March for 13.8 million. Built in 1938, but recently remodeled. Okay, look at these pictures, right? Wow, gorgeous. That's a really nice kitchen. Really nice kitchen. Beautiful backyard. Sick view from the bed. Imagine opening doors and just having a fucking breeze like that. Sick backyard. Look at that, like little terrace pool area. This is so sick. I'm a fan of this, right? First first comment. This house was built in 1938. It's been stripped of any character or taste. No, dog, it's been stripped of mold. It looks like a wannabe trendy hotel. All of this stuff is going out of style quickly and people are going to regret ruining so many beautiful old homes. You know what's been out of style for a while? The stuff from 1938. The bathroom is making me dizzy and nauseous. What? <sighs> That's your impression from this series of pictures? Yeah, it's a little bit noisy, but it's still cool. Ben Simmons just bought this Hidden Hills home for $17 million, 12,000 square feet, built in 2021. Look at this, how spectacular that is. I mean, I'm not a really a fan of chandeliers, but like, these are still somewhat cool. Look at that. That's fucking crazy. Look at that outside. Fuck it, I wanna go there. Nothing screams cozy and homey like steel beams and two ginormous chandeliers. Two! <laughs> I kinda hate it. This space is so ominous and terrifying to me. <laughs> Sophie T and Joe Jonas have listed their Encino home for $16 million. Nine bed, 11 bath, 15,000 square feet. Look at this. That's the front, that's the back. First comment, 16 mil with a front garage, only in California. <laughs> I've never once thought about where I park my car, ever. Globes and Sputniks, not a fan of modern light fixtures. Hey, how about the f fucking tree in the backyard? That alone is incredible. Look at the pool. Yeah, I don't know about the light fixtures though. Oh, is that a Sputnik? Hey, Sophie Turner, Joe Jonas, thank you so much for having me over for dinner. Uh, it was lovely to be here for five seconds, but I cannot stand those globe light fixtures you have. Disgusting. I'm leaving. <laughs> Bye. Also, what the fuck you gotta say about globes, huh? What's wrong with modern light fixtures, huh? Sorry, I'm turned up right now. Zach Efron just sold his Los Feliz home for $5.3 million. Bet he walks around naked all the time in that home. Okay, Christine. Pump the brakes, relax. This is public. The amount of DNA in that home is going to be crazy. What? What? What do you mean? Like, come? What are you, what are you people doing? Did he pick out that bathroom rug? It matches nothing else. I don't understand. You, you realize most of these are like staging pictures. Like, they, they're not their, it's not their furniture. It might be, but it probably isn't. This is probably from when it was built. Lil Wayne just bought this Hidden Hills CA home for $15 million. So boring and uninteresting. I don't understand. What what will please you people? You put a little complicated marble in the bathroom and all of a sudden it's fucking making you dizzy. You take it out and all of it's too boring. YouTuber Amber Chamberlain just listed her West Hollywood home for $3.9 million. How utterly depressing. I think it's fucking cool. Pointless pool. 
<laughs> Wait, did I like that by accident? Fuck! Pointless pool? What? What? Yeah, what? Fucking, it would be cool if it wasn't for that fake pool over there. We all know that's not real water. It's pointless, okay? You can't jump in there and cool down on a hot summer day. You can't. Cause it's a fake pool. You're not no. You're not tricking anyone. Four million dollars and you got a view of power lines outside your bathroom window. Yeah, because it's in a city. Is that not the case in every single urban city? Where do you live that you can't see power lines? I can't live somewhere with so many right angles. <laughs> okay, so now it's the walls that are throwing you off. Is that what it is? It's just square rooms. Not you're not a fan. Jerry Seinfeld just listed this. Telluride, Telluride? I don't know, CO home for 14 million bucks. First comment, nicer than his New York apartment. <laughs> what do you think of my new place? Yeah, it's fucking nicer than your other shitty place. This isn't saying much. <laughs> okay, random person. Okay, now this house sucks ass. Oh my God, what chairs are those? What, kind, what the fuck is this little art piece right here? That sucks. It's so small. What is it, the smallest art piece in the world? What, did you get like a little fucking baby as an artist? And give him a little canvas and tell him, go ahead. Go ahead, little baby artist. Make the smallest art piece in the world. Let's put it up on the wall and we're gonna sell this house for $13 million. Disgusting. I would leave if I got invited there. All right, that's it. And if you're wondering why things cost what they cost, it's because the vast majority of the times, there's someone there willing to pay for it. So, anyways. Bye. <laughs>